Hi everyone, Ed Hall from Mr. Ed's Mobile Bike Repair here. Wanted to shoot a little video for you today, kind of showing proper lubrication on the chain. Uh, one of the biggest problems that I see uh, is over lubrication of chains. Um, and so what we're going to go over today is how to properly clean a reasonably dirty chain and how to properly lubricate it. Okay, so what we're going to start with is our cleaner. You're going to use some sort of a bicycle cleaner. I'm using this here, but anything that's good degreaser will be fine. And what I like to recommend is get the cleaner on your rag. Don't just spray it right on the bike or right on the chain because you can get uh, overspray everywhere. And then take your cleaner and really just kind of thoroughly wipe down your chain. Right? So we're going to run the chain through the whole the whole rag and we'll probably reapply our cleaner a couple times here so I'll go back get a little more of the cleaner onto the rag you can tell it's live and we'll clean that up a little more we'll get all that gook and everything off of there even though this chain looked reasonably clean when we started you'll see here on my rag how much dirt has come off so it's quite dirty already so once that's clean like it is here and it may take you a bit longer if your chains dirtier you're gonna take the clean part of the rag and just kind of run the chain through that to get all the excess dirt Grease cleaner off, okay? Once that's been there, usually I like to let it sit for a minute or two. Uh, that will allow the, the cleaner to dry a bit. Um, usually at that point, I'll kind of run the bike through the gears to make sure everything's working good. You know, and here we can see that we've already given this bike a reasonable tune-up. We're gonna go over everything real thoroughly here, make sure it's 100%. So far, she's working pretty good. Yep. So that should be pretty reasonable for that to be dry, and that is. So then you'll take your oil, and it's best to use a specific bicycle oil for your chain, especially around here. Some of the waxes in this area, they do make chain wax, and that doesn't really protect against rust, and that becomes a problem in this area because of the arid climate that we're in, so much humidity. Um, so with a nice oil like this it'll protect against rust and keep it lubricated so my recommendation is to just kind of run the chain through drip your oil on the chain um, and make sure you're reasonably coated okay no need to go crazy with this um, so do another application around the chain so we're gonna get that on and then what I like to do it's just like we did when we put the cleaner on. I like to let it sit. I like to run the chain through the gears so that the oil gets through everything on and in through all the parts of the chain. And I like to let it sit for usually a couple of minutes. For the intents and purposes of the demo today, we'll keep that a little bit short. We won't let it sit for five or ten minutes like I normally do. And then from there, We'll grab a clean, dry rag, okay? All we want to do is wipe off the excess lube. All we want to do is make sure that the metal on the chain is uh, lubricated. But what we don't want to do is have too much oil all over because then that'll just pick up a lot of dirt. And then that just gets you a dirty chain which causes all kinds of other problems like poor working brakes and uh, obviously grease all over you when you get done your ride. So we'll then take our nice dry clean rag and we'll just run it through just like we did when we were cleaning the chain. We're just gonna wipe off that excess grease, excess oil. And that gives you a nice clean lubricated chain. And generally, a properly lubricated chain like this, starting with a clean chain um, and lubing it, letting it soak in, and then wiping off the excess. Generally, unless you ride in the foul weather, like rain, 
uh, a proper lubricated chain will generally last most people between three and 500 miles. So uh, for a lot of people, that's half a season or more. Um, some people more frequently, but uh, yeah. And then generally then, only really need to lubricate your chain when it starts to make noise. Um, so if you're starting to hear it a little more, you'll hear now how nice and quiet this is. You don't hear any noise coming, there's no squeaks. It's, uh, and it's running through everything nice and smoothly. So um, that's how we would properly lubricate a chain on a bicycle. So thanks for tuning in and hope you all have a great